Today, we're talking about base plates and coffee. Whew. Man, it's hot. So a question that comes up quite frequently about mounting railings into concrete or brick is how should I mount them? Should I use base plates or should I concrete them? And my answer is usually yes. Yes, you should. I realize that that sounds a little confusing, but the truth is, is it doesn't really matter either way. Both are right and both can be wrong. It really depends on your circumstances and also just your access to equipment. Now let's just do the numbers real quick and see which one is a little more accessible. So base plates, at least the ones that are the size of what you would need for your common railing or gate, you can literally get them for less than you would pay for a cup of coffee. Now, of course, there's a little bit more to it than that. You need to have your concrete anchors, a drill, and a masonry bit to be able to drill those holes for those anchors. And the anchors themselves can vary in price depending on size, load capacity, and well, brand quite frankly. But regardless of the size or brand that you're getting, you're not gonna be looking at spinning much more than what you actually spent on the base plate itself. So you're not looking at a huge amount of cost here. And when you compare that to what is needed to be able to drill a hole into concrete or brick and then cement your railing into an existing concrete or brick structure, well, things get a little more, um, let's say, beefy in what it is that you're going to need. First off, you're going to need a core drill. Now these things can get pretty expensive, anywhere between 500 and well, two, three thousand dollars, depending on what you're using. But on the low end, you're going to be spending anywhere between 500 and a thousand dollars, and that's without the bits that you're going to need to actually drill the holes into the concrete. That's just for the drill. Core drill bits can be pretty expensive as well, and depending on what size post you're drilling a hole for you might need varying sizes or at the at the least get one bit that is larger than what you would normally use but can kind of cover all of your bases now on top of that you're also going to need the cement to actually anchor your railing into the hole and this is a special type of anchoring cement it's specially made for railings in this kind of usage it sets very very fast and it's very very strong and it's it's designed for this type of purpose and which one do i think is better well i don't think one is really better than the other i think it depends on your circumstances whether you actually have the tools and the materials to do something like core drilling and concrete or if you really this is all you have access to because if this is all you have access to there is absolutely nothing wrong with that and you must be using base plates all day long because that's how you're going to get the jobs it's not a matter of which one is better it's really just a matter of the circumstances that you're in and sometimes also it depends on the location and just what it takes to actually install and just also the design preferences of the build so there you have it my personal opinion is either one is great whichever one you want to do just make sure that you do it to the best of your ability and that's it so i want to hear from you what's your preferred method are you all about that concrete or are you all about that base about that base no concrete all about that base, about that base. I'm sorry.